Videos of adults getting on a school bus in Randolph County and threatening a child are spreading on social media. This happened yesterday on a southeastern Randolph Middle School bus. Good evening. This is the Fox 8 6 o'clock news. I'm Neil McNeil and I'm Katie Nordeen. Tonight, Octavia McRae and Shaniqua Watkins are facing several charges, including trespassing on a school bus and disorderly conduct. Fox 8's Caroline Boyer is live outside of the school for us tonight. So Caroline, I know you talked with an eighth grader who is the daughter of one of the adults arrested. Katie, she tells me this all stemmed from an argument she was having with a seventh grader who she says was calling her inappropriate names. Parents I talked with whose kids were on that school bus are infuriated and they tell me they haven't received any communication from the school or the district. They shouldn't have been able to get on the bus. Courtney Faust's sixth and seventh grade sons were on the bus Tuesday afternoon. When Randolph County Sheriff's deputies say an adult assaulted and threatened a student on the bus. It was ridiculous. I mean, these kids were scared for their life. A parent gave us permission to use this grainy video from the bus. I've muted the sound because there's a lot of bad language in it. There's a student blocking the view. So what you cannot see in this particular clip is at least two adults getting on the bus and cussing and yelling at a student. At one point in one video I watched, it appears one of the adults grabs the child by her shirt and the other adult says, let her go, let her go. I was like right behind the seat, so I saw them get on the bus and then started talking about how their kid was getting, um, like their kid was getting talked about from the other kid. A woman was just run, uh, saying stuff. She was like, "What? Uh, she did what? She did what? And then uh, was uh, walking up to her and grabbed her shirt. After hearing her boys tell their stories, Courtney is hoping the school and district will ramp up security efforts on buses. Until then, her kids will find another way to and from school. Didn't even put my kids on the bus. I'm scared, too scared for them to be on the bus. The school district declined to do an interview with us and sent a statement from the superintendent instead. It says in part they are aware of the situation and at this time the administration at Southeastern Randolph Middle School is working with the leadership of the school system and law enforcement to address the situation appropriately. The sheriff's office is expecting to charge a third person in relation with this incident once they identify who that person is. Live in Randolph County. Caroline Boyer, Fox 8 News.